Welcome to another part of Wild Wild Racing. This time, we're doing the amateur tournament. And, uh... You can kind of tell by the length of this video that... Maybe you're thinking, you know... Is there gonna be some fucking, like, auto stuff at the end, like before? No. No. This length you're seeing right now is pretty much the entire tournament. Because, you might be seeing the time there. You can tell that this one is going to be more than one lap. In fact, it is two laps. And we already have experience with the tracks by this point, and the fact that they have shortcuts and shit. So obviously we'll have to deal with that. But the main thing here is the AI. Which, uh, we have a decent vehicle now, with the uh, double moon. Unfortunately, the AI is be a lot more aggressive on us than beforehand. You see, they're also that bad either. They have the speed to handle shit, and some of them will actually go for these fucking, like, you know, these shortcuts. Eventually, almost all of them will. But for the most part, we have to take these shortcuts and handle this, because otherwise we will not fucking make it through this in one piece. Because this game will still fuck us, you know? The physics, the AI is a lot more terrible to handle. It's gonna get crazy. Yeah, like Jesus Christ, some of this terrain. And that, that too. I mean, the AI is still taking some of the safe spots there of that. Just still, still. So yeah, this is the championship, I can tell, especially if the game just bumping me around like that, we're gonna be in for some bullshit. And I am doing my best here right now. But as you can see, the shortcut wasn't exactly that helpful. I mean, I catched up a little bit, but not that much. But the AI... They get pretty fast. They legitimately get their speed going. And right now, even with the AI being as douchey as it is now, it's still not that bad. It's still not that much of a problem. And we have an additional lap to work with, so we don't have to actually, like, you know, get it right the first time. But you also forget about the time. Because there is a reason to why we're getting these times done. And if we're gonna get this shit 100% done, we're gonna need to get every single time record in the damn game. That means you must get the best race and the best lap. And while the best race will not be shown to us after the loading screen, the best lap is right there in the corner. So. I'm a few seconds away from reaching that. Let's try and, you know, not fuck up too hard and make it through this. I waste a lot of time because of that. Getting this up by the walls and shit. That's annoying. <clears throat> but hey, we'll be fine. We're almost there. And the AI is right behind me. I'll be noticing that, um, I just beat the lap record and so did the AI. I think the only AI that did not break the fucking black record was like the last place one. So... Yeah, you can kind of tell that the AI... Bit douchey. Bit douchey, because they are, um... Like, these are set times by developers of like, the best lap in the game for them. And the AI is just as easily being it as you are. In fact, the AI will also beat the best race time and also will get in my fucking way. You can see they're even beating each other up at times. Like, they don't give a fuck. They're going bumper carding, okay? 
They go in bumper cars. The main thing you want to do is get the fuck away from the AI because they will just fuck your ass. That's not an exaggeration. They will fuck your ass. No protection. So, um, yeah, just try to avoid getting fucked. That's it. Get the hell away from them and use the shortcuts. That's how you should handle the turns, by the way, of that shortcut. That's how you should handle the shortcut entirely. By being able to just, like, cross like that. All the way around. Of course, I didn't get fucked from that, so, you know... I get in the way of the AI a little bit, but then the AI gets in the way of me, and you can tell they go very slow around there, but then they start, like, fucking full-on going on after that little bit there, so, yeah. Also, why is the game just bumping me like that from touching a wall? I don't get that. I don't get that at all. There is legitimately some things that make no fucking sense in this goddamn game, but it's physics and all, and it's just... It sucks. It sucks. And hey, there's this. So I'm showing that direction at least, and as you can tell, it's not that great. Not really much difference on the time there. And then I get stuck by a fucking wall! Like, it's going outward and it just gets me stuck like that. I just... I don't even. And... Do I even get first from this? Do I even get fucking first? Well, the answer is simple. No. I got second. I still beat the race record. In fact, you might have found that everyone's been the race record. The entire AI beat the race record. So, if you're wondering, like, when you'll be last, if you don't beat these records, you will be last. Because the AI will beat these records. So yeah, I got second in that one. Not a good start. But, you know... The track itself was not doing me any favors, and neither was the AI just gaining my way, blocking shit, and just bashing me about like that. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, I'm bashing that motherfucker about as well, because he was first. This one of them were. One of them were fucking with me the entire time. But yeah, at this point, I need to get the first. I need to focus on getting first from now on if I want to win this. Fuck! Anyway, it's Jesus Christ. We gotta handle these U turns right now and not fuck it up. And as you can see, the AI isn't having much of a good time catching up with me on the turns, at least, so... As long as I don't fuck up the turns, I do have the fighting chance, at least. And, you know, big straight lines, I can speed through, and they have a hard time catching up, too. So I gotta not fuck up on these things. I gotta... I gotta make up the time and shit with this. Uh, unfortunately, it's not that easy. It's not that easy at all. You can kind of tell that I am not having the greatest time handling the turns. You can also tell that the AI is doing its damn to stay right behind me. Like, hitting the wall is just gonna fuck me the most. Look at that! I touch a bump a little bit, and I just go sideways. 
and there's no recovery from that, really. I gotta hope the game doesn't fuck me too hard, maybe teleport, you know? Because you can't teleport yourself. There's no button or, like, you know, function to, like, respawn yourself manually. You have to wait for the game to do it for you. If you're in these races, when you're against the AI and shit, or you're doing like a time thing or whatever, that's, that's murder. That's, that's rude, honestly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there we go. There's that awkward jump that's not very good. And every one of them will avoid this shortcut, like probably the first time at least. At least one of them might get in, but most of they'll be avoiding that shortcut. You won't though. And yeah, Tug Hunt's turns don't want to fucking work, but yeah, just go around, get through, be careful, make a good straight line, they're not exactly doing that. And then use this shortcut here. Sure, a bit slow on the way to doing the shortcut. But it's faster than going normal route. Because the AI will just fuck up a few times on that. And we got the lap record. So that's good. And as you can see, I am very clearly going to get a first here. Like, as long as I use that shortcut at the end. I'm gonna get a shit ton of time. Like, I'm gonna get a shit ton of distance compared to the AI, and I will get my first place on this. Which will redeem me from the second place I just got from the last race. But yeah, like, the main thing is I wanna make sure I have a solid lead before I get to Mexico. Because we have a lot of experience with every other track in the game. You know? We've driven these first three tracks quite a few times. Even with the shortcuts that are new here, we have a decent fair understanding on how to handle a lot of it still. Mexico's new. So we gotta get used to what Mexico is, you know? And Mexico has some bullshit to it. So, your aim here is to essentially stay a safe lead during the first three races. Stay first for the most part, gain a big enough score to where the AI just cannot beat you. Like, in order to beat you, they would need like 11 or more points, and it's the last race, and the maximum points you can get from getting first in like one race is 10. So, you will always win by one or more points, no matter what happens. You can be last, and you'll still win. Hell, getting last, you'll still get a point, essentially. So, even if they are like 10 away from like drawing with you. If you get last, you get one point. They get 10, sure, but you are still one point ahead of them. So you're still gonna get a first place, you'll still win the championship. But yeah, as you can tell, you know, actually I believe it's a free last place, a free five, seven, and 10. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm doing very good. I'm nearly at the end now. And yes, I did indeed beat both the left and the race records here. And the game will happily tell me I did with my first place. Now, in this case, I don't think the AI beat the fucking race record here. But look at this one.
7 minutes and 24 seconds. Keep that in mind. Because we're going to Iceland now. And Iceland's going to be a heck of a time. So, we already know about the Iceland. We already know there's a jump in Iceland that we can use. But also, the game is having a fun time changing the time of day during these tournaments. Likes to keep the default with the time trials and such, but championships, it can get it can get a little fancy and keep things, you know, stylish for each of these races at least. But yeah, one of them is going to hit that starting shortcut every time. But, no matter what, they will go all the way to that fucking wall to just, like, make the tight turn and avoid going for that wall and you'll be fine. After that, you know, just cut the ice, get through all the bullshit, and move on from there. Not using that shortcut because that shortcut's not helpful to me. And the AI will also not use the shortcut, so there you go. However, that little barn there, one of them will try to use it, so that's cute. And almost to the wall. I've been noticing that I'm not saying much, I'm just saying what's going on. Because we've already kind of experienced these tracks, and I don't have anything new to say about them. I mean, yeah, sure, the shortcuts, I mean, the jump, you know, heck of a fucking jump. Saves a lot of time, but at the same time, pain in the ass to land on and you will probably end up sliding about and fucking yourself that way. Also, fuck signs. You probably already know that too, but you know, to reiterate, fuck signs. Jesus Christ. And here comes the AI. Let's see how they handled this jump. Just kidding. I had to jump, and they failed to jump. So there you go. He didn't, but the other guy did. Because of that, I'm first again. And then I get fucked by that corner, so then I end up second. Jesus Christ. As you can see though, I'm doing my damnedest. I'm doing my absolute damnedest to actually make it through this. And get me my win. The lap record. So the AI. Remember, the main thing here is 7 minutes and 26 seconds, okay? The main race thing. 7 minutes, 26 seconds. I'm already like about three minutes into the first lap. So at best we'll be seeing like fucking like six minutes. Because of that. Let's fucking see what the AI's times are going to be of this. it really is a showcase of like difference between the difficulty that they show and the difficulty that you actually get, you know? The difficulty in this game, like, it's just unforgiving. But what they show looks, you know, manageable. 
you know, doesn't look like it's going to be a pain in the ass, doesn't like you can actually handle it, you know. Because usually of these games, the AI rarely ever, like, beats the record that is, like, there in the start of the game by default. Usually the game has the AI just, like, not be that fast and that good. In order for you, the player, to beat the AI, to beat the fucking record at its own game. And, you know, feel like you accomplished something ahead of the AI who know the track perfectly and, like, can probably, you know, handle at least matching the time given. Not this game. In this game, the fucking times are an afterthought almost, because the AI almost always beats the fucking times. Both the lap and the race times. And you know, race times, maybe I get it. Maybe I get it. Maybe, you know, the AI being a race time makes sense, but a lap time? You know, something that requires some skill from the player? Eh, it's a bit off. Also, I did in under six minutes. Look at the time that is remaining. Remember, it's seven minutes at least. Everyone beat the race time of this track by fucking one whole minute. And by the way, if I am currently to win this, I have to get at least a second in Mexico in order to get first. And even then, the safe spot, the safe bet is getting first. So unfortunately, because I got second in the first race of this fucking tournament, I unfortunately do have to try and aim for first here. And as you can see, the times here a bit more shorter, a bit more unforgiving, you know, under three minutes now. And also the AI is just getting all in the way now. And it's only getting worse of all the bumpy road and the awkward turns and these small little trees because you can't even like break a small fucking twig with your car. The main thing here though is that cave, or the rocks though. Because that is faster than going this way, like the normal way. And even then, look at the rocks. Look at the fucking like movement here. Jesus Christ. There you go. And I fucked the corner. Oh no. Well don't worry, I got inside here and the AI kinda tried but they gave up. i catch catching up to this guy though. But as you can see, the AI is not fucking around with these cars right now. Like, they are handling the turns like absolute pros. This guy's even cut in the corner. And the game's gonna get used to doing that a lot more often than you think, especially when you get to pro. Right now, the AI isn't very much going for these shortcuts here, so take them. They, they help a whole lot more than any other fucking shortcut in this track. So, we're nearly done now, we're nearly done with the uh, entire track, we just have to take care of, I believe, the flat area now. And as you can see, these turns are not fun. But now that we're here on the flat, we can now just deal within the flat, which is very awkward and kind of shitty to handle, it'll make us slide about a bunch. 
But I'm going to be taking this direction every time the race is essentially because not only is it just right in front of me, but the AI, they just kind of hit the normal path. I don't even try to go for like a shortcut of this. They just kind of like go around the normal path, so I can take that fucking shortcut and I'll be fine. By the way, in all of the amateur tracks, I have now been the best lap. And soon I will beat the best race of them all. Because the only thing left is the final difficulty, the Pro. And the Pro Championship will have the tightest times, the hardest challenges, and the most infuriating experiences of the entire game. But hey, at least we're handling this very well right now. And at least we're even making it to pro, you know? This game isn't very easy. And it can get pretty fucking unfair. At the same time, though, making it this far means we're pretty much already pros. We're ready for this game's bullshit, right? You know? Because we've experienced it now, we've experienced what the game's doing, we've experienced how the game is doing it, we've experienced the controls of the game, we've experienced the physics and how everything essentially works in a way of this game. Like, what could this game possibly throw at us that is worse than we've experienced so far? Ah, <sighs> God, when you, when you see it, when you fucking see it. Oh, God. Well, anyway. Just thought I'd say that I'm about to beat this entire fucking race. So, what am I doing next time? Well, next time I'm going to go in ahead and unlock in some more cars. Because, we're going to be unlocking like close to the best ones in the game. Well, it is said they're the best because they're new and they beat the time. All right, so that does it for this championship and we have the gold. So let's go ahead and watch our victory cutscene, shall we? And with that, we have now been the Amateur Cup, which means all we have left is Pro. And you might realize a certain little location there that's new as well. That's right, in Pro, we also have my hometown. Australia. Yep. It's the last track of the game. But, next time, we'll be checking out the Black Lightning one. Oh boy, I'll see you then for that one.